Some of us go to the tower in peace. They walk through a field of golden millet, and a low warm wind blows in from their back. I don't know why this is, because the rest of us meet an army. None of them will tell you that the army is made of everyone we meet. The people we work with, and the people we see in the street, and the people we tell about our dreams. We kill them all. I think because we are made to kill, and this is the part of us that thinks about nothing else. So that is how we go back to the Deepstone Crypt, where we were born. Welcome back Guardians. Before starting, this video is sponsored by Audible. Audible is the leading provider of audiobooks and audio entertainment, including news, bestsellers, celebrity memoirs, business, self-development, and now even including guided meditation. So if you don't have an Audible membership and you would like to try a free one month trial, you can use my link in the description, which is audible.com slash games, or you can text Games to 500-500. With each membership, you get one credit and two Audible Originals each month. And the great news is that you don't have to use all your credits every month. So for me, I've actually got some credits which I haven't used yet. And so I took some recommendations from you, the Destiny community. And these were your top Audible recommendations. The first recommendation was World War Z, which I just thought was a okay movie, but apparently a great story. Uh, the second, The Dark Tower by Stephen King. Thirdly, The Hobbit, a classic. And lastly, you guys just said anything by Brandon Sanderson. And there's a bunch of options on Audible for that as well. So I'm going to give those titles a crack with my spare credits. And what I've been using Audible for at the moment is unfortunately, Danny still needs to go to work. So uh, <laughs> Audible is like my quickly clean the house, do the dishes, do the laundry, try to tidy up a bit before Danny gets home from a stressful day uh, with everything that's going on at the moment with uh, quarantine. And on that note, Audible is offering some other free options during this stressful time. The first is stories.audible.com. The second is audible.com forward slash sleep. Both are completely free and you don't need to be a member. Uh, and I know how many of you like to listen to my law videos to help you sleep. So why not give audible.com forward slash sleep a try for some soothing audio experiences and stories are great for those families with children and you're looking for some titles to listen to. So the first link in the description will be my link for membership audible.com slash Marlin Games or text Marlin Games to 500 500. Second link will be free stories.audible.com and the third link will be audible.com forward slash sleep. That's it. Big thanks to Audible for sponsoring this video. Let's get into this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. Before starting, as usual, the artwork at the beginning of this video was provided by Gamma Trap. I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to get hold of some of the artwork for yourself. So, with Deepstone Crypt being announced as the new raid in the Beyond Light expansion, I thought it'd be a great time to recap everything we know about the Deep Stone Crypt. The interesting thing about this raid is the Deep Stone Crypt is related to the Exos, to Clovis Bray, and we suspect the main campaign antagonist will be Eremis, the fallen Baroness, who will also try and wield the darkness. So they don't really fit. In the past, of course, the fallen have raided Clovis Bray facilities and tried to use Siva but currently, I can't really work out how the Fallen will fit into the Deep Stone Crypt location. And the thing is, maybe they won't. Maybe the Fallen and Eremis will be one story, and the Deep Stone Crypt will be another. For this reason, I thought the best thing to do would be to just summarise everything we know about the Deep Stone Crypt. Because we actually did receive a decent chunk of information with the Felwinter lore, and also with the Anna Bray web lore. And personally, I think Rasputin will be involved somehow with the Deepstone Crypt. So at the end of this video, I will tie Rasputin back into this story. Because remember, he was deactivated at the beginning of Season of Arrivals. Let's start right back at the beginning. The lore of the Deepstone Crypt started with Destiny 1 and first appeared in the Titan mark called Deepstone Crypt. The mark reads, a badge illustrating the infamous subroutine which seeded the first Exo Consciousness. This was the first clue that the Deepstone Crypt is linked to the creation of the Exos. 
Deepstone Crypt would also make an appearance in the Grimoire card Ghost Fragment Legends, which describes how all Exos have this dream, a dream about a tower at Deepstone Crypt, a dream where they have to fight and kill an army to enter the tower, and the army they kill is made of everyone they previously met, people they know. The Grimoire card ends with this. Often I kill people I don't know, but like most of us, I think I knew them once, in the time before one reset or another, when my mind was younger and less terribly scarred. So that is how we go back to the Deepstone Crypt, where we were born. This once again reinforces Deepstone Crypt as the birthplace of the Exos, but it also acknowledges how the past lives and memories haunt the Exos, they are haunted by people they once knew. We would later discover that Exos have their memories wiped and reset, so this card could be referring to these residual memories of family and friends who now visit them during dreams. We didn't have any possible clues to the location of Deepstone Crypt until Cade Six's journal was released with the Taken King's Collector's Edition. In the Collector's Edition, there is a postcard of an icy planet with Saturn in the background, and Cade has scribbled diary entries in the Collector's Edition book. His entry reads, Saturn, no, someplace else, someplace colder. This moon has been almost completely converted, a sarcophagus of ice and iron. Stone towers rung round with glaciers, rooted deep within a heart of snow. I came here flesh and bone, gave everything to the ice, started over, rebooted. Now this piece of lore led most to believe the Deepstone Crypt was on Enceladus, an icy moon of Saturn, and not Europa. However, maybe Deepstone Crypt has multiple locations, and I'll explain this a bit later. Regardless, the reason why people suspected Enceladus was the location of Deepstone Crypt was not just Cade's Collector's Edition journal entry, but also the tapes Cade 6 left behind during the mission Ace of Spades. Cade says this, Oh, and uh, tell Paladin Oren, if the sun over Nessus escapes nebula cycle, evac labor after dawn under solstice. If you take the first letter of each word, it spells, it's on Enceladus. Enceladus is an icy moon of Saturn, and considering Cade seems to describe his transformation from human to exo somewhere near Saturn, most believed it's on Enceladus referred to deep stone crypt. Adding further weight to this theory, in the same Ace of Spades mission, Kate actually mentions the Deepstone Crypt. He says this. This one's for the minds behind the Deepstone Crypt. You think just because you made me, you can unmake me? Hey, I understand. If I were you, I wouldn't want people knowing what I did either. Guess you better hope I didn't tell anyone about the crypt. Or about the, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, long, slow whisper. Because if I did... That would be real bad for you, huh? I may be dead, but I guarantee you ain't heard the last of me. So, so this message from Cade, when you combine this with his journal entries, it describes a much more sinister view of Clovis Bray and the creation of the Exos. Specifically, Clovis Bray wiping the memories of Exos intentionally. Clovis Bray claims that memory wipes are necessary for Exos so that the human brain does not go insane inside the robot body. But, they definitely appear to have a hidden agenda. I guess the big question right now is, is there more than one deep stone crypt? A lot of the lore was pointing towards Enceladus, however the next expansion is on Europa, and the next raid is related to the deep stone crypt. So at this point, I want to dive into the new Felwinter lore, because this may provide some answers. Firstly, if you don't know the lore of Felwinter, where have you been? But essentially, Felwinter was an exo designed to experience a life for Rasputin. Obviously, Felwinter died and was resurrected as a guardian. Rasputin then lost control over Felwinter, and then Felwinter was described as half Warmind, half Exo. But the important part is that the protocol Tidhartha Golem, which was a protocol to upload Rasputin to Felwinter, took place at DSC 342, which stands for Deep Stone Crypt. Have a listen to Siddhartha Gollum law entry. It reads, Initiate Siddhartha Gollum, upload at DSC 342, to assess integrity of moral structures. And then this from the discovery law entry, which reads, Felspring zipped back and forth through the code again at a nervous, stuttering pace, 
then stopped it, then scrolled through the code again, stopped, scrolled again, stopped. Wait. Her voice quivered just a little. See that? This is the first time Siddhartha Gollum is mentioned. It... She paused, then went on quieter. It says initiate Siddhartha Gollum upload at DSC 342. I bet. DSC Fellwinter. Fellwinter was silent, thinking, uncomprehending. DSC? He asked quietly. Deep Stone Crypt. She was almost whispering now. Siddhartha Gollum was an exo. He went to look down at himself, at his hands. He turned them over, studying the worn metal of his palms. The silence filled the bunker nearly to bursting. To Fellwinter, it felt like years after either of them spoke again. The whole time Fellspring watched him, frozen in the air. He's you, she whispered. I guess the main thing to take away from this is that Deepstone Crypt is not only significant for the creation of the Exos, but it did have other functions. And we know at least one of those functions was to create the Siddhartha Golem, which was Felwinter. The other interesting thing is that it is at DSC 342. So does the number 342 refer to the Exos unit inside Deepstone Crypt, i.e. was Felwinter unit 342? And so the Siddhartha Golem protocol was uploaded to him. Or does 342 refer to the site location, which would mean there are multiple Deepstone Crypts, multiple processing centers for the Exos. This could explain a Deepstone Crypt on Enceladus and also on Europa. Finally, does this Deepstone Crypt where Felwinter was created still contain any of Rasputin's programming? Because remember at the beginning of Season of Arrivals, Rasputin was shut down. Well, he was instantly neutralized by the arrival of the pyramid ships. In fact, according to the law entry Anna Freyd, Anna Bray transferred as much of Rasputin into an engram to try and save him. Have a listen. Rasputin lay dying in a dozen empty screens splayed out around Anna's command station. She could visualize the bleeding code running through her fingers. Zavala's voice was in her ear, as ambient haze relegated to the background of her mind like distant gunfire. The image of the pyramid's distortion wave was still raw. This wasn't an attack. It was a command. A lazy dismissal of all their best laid plans. Jinju, do it. The ghost shell reformed to forge a directing structure before her core erupted with light and data. A stream of pure information beamed into the engram, filling it with spiraling wisps of light. Did you? As much as I could. Outside the windows, a bolt of atmospheric friction dragged flames through the sky as warsats plummeted from low orbit defensive positions. Their impacts were distant. So, with Rasputin now in an engram, maybe Deepstone Crypt will still contain some data from the Siddhartha Golem Protocol, which could provide the motivation for Anna Bray to take the engram of Rasputin to Deepstone Crypt, and therefore maybe require the assistance of Guardians to clear whatever enemies are within the crypt. I don't know what enemies will be at Deepstone Crypt, but I keep thinking back to the web lore where Anna Bray fights an exo. How cool would it be if we had enemy exos? Let me remind you of what happens in the web lore. Anna Bray discovers this collection of exos that were owned by Clovis Bray, and they seem to have multiple functions at these stations. One function was to split Rasputin's mind if he ever got out of control, and the other function was for these exos to oversee embryonic development. We don't really know what embryonic development refers to, but have a listen to the web law. It reads, The ghost sweeps the frame and gets to work. This isn't just some mop bot. This is the station manager. Let's get it inside. The frame sparks to life, looks directly at Anna, and speaks with a grating age to its voice. Welcome, Anna Bray. Very excited to see a Bray walk this hall again. It has been a long time. So those crops in the rings are food supplies for our colony mission? Yes. Thank you for asking that, Anna Bray. Yeah, and the colony ships are full of Exos? Partially. Echo 1 and Echo 2 were stocked with Exo unit crews. As you know, the task was to establish and oversee embryonic development at Colony M31, Site A and Site B. If Rasputin got out of hand, 
they weren't planning on resending him. I don't have access to Clovis 1 to 12 directories. They just assumed he would win. The pillory is a last ditch panic room. I don't have access to Clovis 1 to 12 directories. I don't really know how this may tie into Deepstone Crypt, but here are some predictions slash speculation. Rasputin is currently in an engram. Anna Bray will want to restore Rasputin. These sites were meant to split his mind. The Deepstone Crypt may still have data from Felwinter. I think the Rage story could link all of this together. Guardians need to clear Deepstone Crypt to allow Rasputin to be restored because there's some crucial data in the crypt. The only issue with this is how does this prediction suit Eremis, the fallen Baroness wielding the darkness, and how does this tie into the Deepstone Crypt? Will Eremis be the campaign mission and the Deepstone Crypt will be a different narrative thread? Well, of course I don't know. But now you have as much information as I do regarding the Deep Stone Crypt. Happy speculating. And with that, that concludes this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. If you'd like to support the channel and cannot think of a comment, you can just leave the words Deep Stone Crypt to represent the new raid location in the Beyond Light season. As usual, it's been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.